Hey guys, what's up? It's Arlene Santana, your DNC Crasher. It's our last day here at the Democratic National Convention. Right now, we are at Political Hub Diversity or Disconnect event where we're talking about the future of the Democratic Party. That's, that's not all. Hey, it's James hey, Villalobos, the RNC Crasher. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. Awesome, yeah. So we also talked to some people about the importance, <laughs> hope you don't mind, about the importance of millennials actually going to the polls come November, especially for Latinos to do just that. If you're working family today, what you're thinking about is how do I pay for childcare? How do I pay for gas? How do I pay for health care? Do I have a job? You know, these really core bread and butter issues. And I think it's really, you know, a question at this moment, will the Democratic Party evolve to address those questions and be that party or not? Now we're seeing a divided Republican Party and a divided Democratic Party. Regardless, how do we ensure people are going to the polls? Some people are saying never Hillary, never Trump. Regardless, we need to get millennials to vote. How do we do that? Give people something to vote for. Talk about what you're going to do to put more money in people's pockets. Talk about how you're going to help take away the crushing student debt that's keeping so many millennials from being able to go out and buy a house and buy a car and start a family. You know, give specifics that this is what we're going to do to make your lives better. People need to wake up on election day and say, if I go and vote for Democrats, if I get out there, there will be a change in my life. There will be more money in my pocket. My kids will be safer, my communities will be safer, and the Democrats are going to get it done. And they need to believe that. It's hard for millennials to get the vote because they don't deal, they, they hear issues like health care, they hear issues like trade, and it doesn't really address them directly. What gets a lot of millennials fired up are a lot of social issues. It's, it's gay marriage, um, it's a lot of immigration, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's abortion, you know, all these all these social issues, um, and that's what can get people fired up. And I do believe that actually the advent of social media and things like that have really helped engage people in a way that they might have not understood before because it's so much easier to reach out to somebody, you know, through Snapchat or something and say, look, this is how this can directly affect you. This is how easy it is to go register and vote. Um, it'll just take a few minutes. Hey guys, what's up? James and I have just crashed the DNC floor. We're getting ready to talk to some of the delegates and find out what their thoughts are on the evolution of the Democratic Party. And regardless of what you think of her tonight, we will witness history. Hillary Clinton will be the first woman to officially accept the nomination on behalf of the party for president. But the question remains, will her speech unite the party tonight? We'll just have to find out. And so, my friends, it is with humility, determination, and boundless confidence in America's promise that I accept your nomination for President of the United States. One of the conversations that we're having right now is the evolution of the Democratic Party and the new issues that are being presented at this year's DNC. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think that some of the issues that are starting to come to light are just issues that have been maybe uh, smothered in the past that, that haven't really come to light. And um, I think that it's it's great to see that millennials right now are taking a stance on really important issues that affect us, like the LBGT community, like immigration reform, like job wages, and things, things that we've always cared about. But with the, advance, the advancement of social media and being able to be more outspoken on those type of platforms, it's really helping out this year a lot. I've been a proud Democrat since I was 16 years old. So I spent most of my life active in politics. You know, when I got active in the party um, since then, uh, we've seen huge strides in civil rights, especially for people like me. And you know, when I came out, I wasn't sure if I would if I would have a political future, if I would have any kind of future. But I felt at home in the Democratic Party, and you've seen, particularly for my community, uh, we are on display at this convention. So if you are a member of the LGBTQ community, this is your party, and this is your candidate, and that's really exciting to me. When we were growing up in the 90s, Hillary Clinton was able to provide eight million children health care and that we could have been any one of those children and that when a Clinton was in the White House our families were prosperous and um, they might we might not be able to remember that but it could have been us so she fought for us when she was a first lady in the White House and I know she'll do the same again when she's the president in the White House and that's how I'm able to or at least attempt to and try to persuade other young people my age to vote. If you aren't horrified by looking at what the Republicans are trying to offer, building a wall, you know, restricting access to our country based on your faith, uh, this is not America. That should scare the living heck out of anyone. Um, and so come out and vote. And if you are concerned about the future, vote for the candidate who's going to be invested in your future. Let's build 
build a better tomorrow for our beloved children and our beloved country. And when we do, America will be greater than ever. Thank you, and may God bless you and the United States of America. That is a wrap from Philadelphia here at the Democratic National Convention. What an amazing journey this entire week has been, and we could not be here without you guys, so thank you so Absolutely. much. We had Cleveland last week for the Republican National Convention. We are wrapping up the Democratic National Convention. It's a historic year, no doubt. And wrapping up Crash the Party. Absolutely. Oh my Thank goodness. you so much for being my partner in crime throughout Thank all you. this. Thanks to you guys, everyone, for voting for us and getting us here. It's been Absolutely. an amazing opportunity now to emphasize the importance for you guys to go out and vote this year's election. And one last thank you from both of us for making our dreams possible. Thank you so much.